United Nations Day celebrated on October 28th at Radisson Blu, New Delhi. The event was graced by the presence of Her Excellency High Commissioner Anisa Kapufi Mbega from Tanzania, who served as the chief guest. Besides Chilaya Selamutu, the NDMC director and Elizaveta Nikitina, a representative from Russia, was also present. All international dignitaries showed their concern on human values. The event was hosted by Golden Sparrows organization led by directors Dr. Tilak Tanwar and RJ Arti Malhotra from All India Radio. Distinguished intellectuals from all the corners of India were honored with the title of real life heroes during the event. These real heroes were also invited on stage to express their thoughts and working to inspire the world. Let's listen one such real life hero. A wonderful good morning to all the dignitaries present on the dais and off the dais. Uh, and I thought that we all have met with a united mindset on this particular United Nations Day. So I'll not focus more on what I do in detail, but I'll just like to uh, share my thought that whenever I do any activity, if we all start doing the same thought process, then we can create a much more uh, broader impact, which is the main motto of the United Nations. Uh, in brief, I can say that when uh, in an NGO, we do, uh, in our NGO, we do the things, we focus on three things. The very first is on education. The second is on empowerment. And the third is on creating the mindfulness. In brief, whichever activity we do, we do on these three particular grounds. What I wish to convey on this particular day to all the esteemed guests who are working in their, old or in their own field is that if we want to have something more in this particular field of philanthropy or charity, whenever we do anything, we try to focus on creating an effect. But we should try to create an impact which is much more lasting. So we can drive our activities from creating effect to creating an impact. Second important thing is we can try to focus that how we can create our activities much more sustainable. That is as the earlier speaker told of be conserving in the same way how we can focus on environment too. And the third is we are there with a mindset to do something good but what about the times to come and the youth to come then I would say that whenever you do anything try to create a legacy of the same and that's what I also try to do that whenever I do any activity I try to carry the children the youth together with me because they are the future of the tomorrow to come so in a nutshell I would like to say that whenever we do anything let's try to shift from effect to impact Let's just try to shift from environment to sustainability and let's try to create a system which can leave a legacy for the times to come. Thank you for your patience. Thanks a lot.